How to create a newsletter. Open a blank Word document. Click the Layout tab and find your margins icon. When you click on this, a drop down menu will appear and you want to set your margins. I'm going to change mine from Office 2003 default to normal, which is one inch all the way around. Next, you can click orientation if you want to change from portrait to landscape. I'm going to keep mine at portrait. Now you can enter your heading in text or word art. I'm just going to keep mine plain and simple text. To center my cursor, I'm going to hit command E. I'm going to go back to the home tab and make my font size really big. Maybe not that big. Now I'm going to type my heading. Now you're going to go to layout again and click on break. Under the section breaks, click on continuous. Now click on the columns icon. Choose the number of columns that you would like your newsletter to have. I'm going to make mine two. Type your information into the first column. Now we need to go back to the layout tab again and click on breaks. To get to the second column, we are going to click on the column break and now our cursor moves over and now our cursor moves over to the other side. Now we can add pictures and resize it to fit in the column. To do this, I'm going to go up to the insert menu bar, go down to photo and picture from file. And I'm going to select a picture. This is one of my favorite TV shows. To resize this, I'm going to hover my cursor over the edges where these circles and squares are and click, hold and drag when I see the arrow appear. I'm also going to change the text wrapping so that I can move this picture wherever I want to on the page. So select the picture, go up to wrap text, and do square. Now I can move this where I want. Now you can add information to this side of the column. If you want to get back to the first column, all you have to do is click over here and then just jump back and forth. If you want to go back to one column, you need to go to the Layout tab, Columns, and One. And this is how to create a newsletter in Microsoft Word.